Well, hello everybody. Today I'm obviously doing this ballroom dancing makeup look and I'm gonna list all of the products down below. So I'm just gonna quickly talk through what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. I am using two primers as usual, one to blur out the pores first and then a radiance boosting primer just to make my skin look nice and glowy and of course to keep my foundation on all day long through the competitions. Okay, so for foundation, we are going in with the Napoleon China Doll. I like this one because it's oil-free, so it does not smudge or budge when you sweat. It stays on all day and it has a very full coverage. Um, I don't have a fake tan on at the moment, if you can't tell. So this one's a very pale color, but obviously you would get a nice dark color if you are actually competing. Um, and I wanted to build it up, so I put some of the NARS Sheer Glow over the top. And I thought using a beauty blender kind of builds up the coverage a bit better. So just over the feature focus areas where I felt like I needed a bit more coverage. And now to prep for our eyeshadow. I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime. This keeps your eyeshadow on and it really does such a good job of preventing it from creasing. And over the top of that, I'm going in with my Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I like this because it adds color, so it's kind of like a really good base as far as it cancels out all of your veins and everything. You don't need to use both, but I just like to. And now you can take any bone colored eyeshadow as long as it's matte to set that, and then we can go straight in with the rest of our face. And now to set the rest of our face, you can use any pressed powder, you can use a translucent powder, it doesn't matter, it's a personal preference. Because it's ballroom, you do want it to be thick makeup, so I like to use a pressed foundation. Um, this is the Napoleon one, and yeah, I just love it. It just goes on really smooth and makes my skin always feel and look amazing. And now moving straight on to brows, I'm actually trying what Desi Perkins does and using a clear brow gel first before you go in and fill in your brows. And might I just say, I think she is onto something. She's a genius. It actually works really, really well because you don't have to stuff around with the hairs moving during the whole process. It's amazing. You should definitely try it. So you've all seen me do my brows a million times if you've watched my videos before and I do have a brow tutorial. Um, I will link that down below. The only difference I've done today is I've done the clear brow gel first instead of last. So I'm just going to skip right on to the next step. Okay, so now that my brows are done, I'm taking any white eyeshadow and I'm highlighting just under the brow bone. Don't worry, that little tiny hair does eventually get put back into place. <laughs> So yeah, you can use a shimmer white, you can use whatever you like, it's ballroom, go nuts. I'm going in with the bronzer to warm up my face. Because I'm not wearing a fake tan for today, I don't want to put too much bronzer on because it will look like my face is too many shades dark for my body. Does that make sense? No, it didn't. Um, so this is a matte bronzer. You can use a shimmer bronzer or a matte bronzer. It's a personal preference, but basically the areas where you want to put it is um, your temple, around your hairline, down um, your cheeks, under your cheekbone, and under your chin. Okay, so now I'm going to stick the hair peaks in and I wanted to wait until I have my bronzer on my face because I want this to come on the front of my face a little bit. So I'm just taking some eyelash adhesive and I am dabbing it on the back of it so you can see these tiny little dots. You don't want to put glue all over it because that would just get stuck all through your hair. It would take forever to get out. Um, so you need to wait for it to go tacky for a few minutes. I think I left it for at least three or four minutes. In the meantime, I'm doing putting my jewels on, <laughs> my earrings, ring, bracelet, whatever, you know what I mean. I really did wait a while, didn't I? Now apparently I'm putting tape on the eyes just to prep them for my eyeshadow because I want it to have a really nice wing. And now with a fluffy blending brush, I'm taking this color from MAC and I'm contouring my socket. Normally this color probably would be a little bit too dark to contour your socket, but this is a crazy ballroom dancing look. So you can take any medium tan brown shade. And that little brow hair that's out of place, that is 
get and put back into place, don't you worry. Okay, so once you've had a bit of a play around as to how you want it to sit and you're 100% with where you want it to sit, then you press it firmly onto the head and don't take your hands off because you do not want it to move. And have a bit of a sing and dance, whatever you want to do. But once you've got the majority of it in place, then you can fix the little edges and corners into place as well. This glue works really well. I'm not saying that it's good for your hair because it's not, but it's just... It's all I've ever used and it works, so yeah. Okay, so after holding that in place for a few minutes, I'm now going in with my very first colourful eyeshadow with the same big fluffy blending brush. And we are just sweeping this through the outer portion of the eye, mostly focusing on just under the socket. You want that tan colour to still show a little bit. So if you creep this purple up too high, it's going to overpower it and it's going to make it worthless that you even put that first socket colour there. So keep it just underneath and just keep blending. I literally blend this for a good five minutes. Okay, so now taking the next shade, this one has a bit of a shimmer through it and it is so sexy, it's got like a blacky tone in it. I am taking a smaller blending brush because we're slowly working our way down towards the lashes. Taking a smaller brush means that it's going to cover a smaller surface, it also means that it's going to be more precise and you're going to get that really dark depth, that bam definition, you know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so just keep blending, blending, blending. Don't take it up too high. Focus on the socket. Don't put it too far into the inside of the eye um, where your tear duct is. Try and stay away from that area. Okay, now I'm taking this color and I'm pretty sure it's an Inglot eyeshadow. I saw it and fell in love because I thought it would be perfect for ballroom dancing. So I just wet my brush with a bit of Fix Plus and I'm just dabbing it into the tear duct and all over the inner to the middle of the mobile lid. Just dab, dab, dab and keep on pressing. So now once we've done this on both eyes, I am dipping into some loose blue eye dust. Putting it into the Fix Plus is means it's going to be more pigmented. It helps it stay on as well. So now I'm just overlapping the silver into the purple. So you're putting the blue right in the middle. You want them to look blended and seamless. So that means you need to take your time and just keep dabbing gently and making sure that they're blended really nicely. And just continue to repeat that process with the blue until you are happy with the desired effect. And now I'm taking this purple shade, which is a completely different one. And I just wanted to reinforce the socket. I felt like it got lost a little bit with all of those colors going on. And I wanted to make the socket a bit more of a brighter purple rather than a tan. Um, it makes the look more intense. So of course this step is optional. I'm taking a brand new brush uh, and I'm using a very light hand. If I used a heavy hand, it would not look seamless and soft and blended. And after doing that on both eyes, it's time to take the tape off and a little bit was stuck under the hairpiece, but that was all right. I managed to uh, make it work. And now for concealer under the eyes, I'm going in with two different types of concealers because I find for me that works best. And then I'm going in and setting it with powder. Feel free to build up the concealer if your bags are as hectic as mine. And now I am setting the concealer with the yellow toned powder from the Australis Contour Kit. And now I'm moving on to liquid liner. I'm doing a winged liner on top. If you want more of a detailed video, I have a video on winged liner also. Um, 
don't be fooled though, it definitely gets tough. Even for makeup artists, it is still something that challenges you every single day. Um, I'm sorry that this isn't in the best view. I was, I was concentrating. You guys know what it's like, I'm sure. <laughs> And you know what? They're never going to be even. They've just got to be even enough to pass in public so other people can't notice. But they're never going to be even. Ever. And now for some colourful eyeshadow under the eye. I'm taking this sexy hot fuchsia pink and I'm smudging it right under from the bottom of the wing towards the inner tear duct. And now for eyeliner on the waterline at the bottom, I prefer to use a gel because I find that it stays better and it's a lot more comfortable and it isn't as annoying. Um, and I use an angle brush, so I'm just dabbing this on the inner rim on both eyes. And now I'm going back into this purple, which was the purple that I added through the socket at the end of the eyeshadow up the top. Does anyone remember that? I don't know. I'm using a small eyeshadow brush and I'm smudging out that black eyeliner. It is uncomfortable <laughs> when you do this, but what it does is it fuses the black gel liner into the eyeshadow and that's how you get that smoky look. Now I'm picking up some more of the electric blue loose eye dust because I wanted to add blue on the bottom as well. So there's purple and blue top and bottom and just Pack that on as many times as you like until you are happy with the desired look. And why end there? If we're going for a crazy makeup look, then just keep on going. We are adding some loose, silvery, bluey, uh, loose eye dust on the inner tear duct of the eye and I would never normally make it on such a big circumference but you know what it's ballroom dancing so you can just make this as crazy as you like but you can see that it really does look pretty awesome from a bit of a distance if I might say so myself and now moving on to mascara and then your favorite set of lashes and I wanted to choose something a little bit sparkly for something different because I haven't done lashes like these before on my channel and I've just quickly popped them on off camera. My camera actually kept dying and it was giving me the shites so I thought why not stick my lashes on while I'm waiting for it to recharge. Anywho, moving on to some colourful blush. This is my new Bobbi Brown br brush blush and I wanted to add quite a bit of colour to my cheeks because I don't have a spray tan on. I felt like my cheeks are just non-existent, so I'm just building this shit right up. And for the lips, I wanted to do a bit of an ombre lip. It's actually super easy. All you need to do is get your dark lip liner to line the edges. Go in with a bright colored lipstick and only apply it through the middle. And then rub your lips together. And once you rub your lips together, bam, magic. And if you want to add a bit of gloss, go ahead and do so. I like to mainly focus it through the middle of the lips to give a plumper effect. And no look would be complete without some amazing highlight. This is the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Highlight. And I'm popping it on the tops of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow and my chin. And then of course, I couldn't help it but follow through with some warm, soft, warm, soft and gentle. No, some MAC soft and gentle over the top because I want it to look really, really glowy. And now lastly, to set everything, I am popping on some MAC Fix Plus to make me look nice and dewy and keep everything in place. Anyway guys, this brings me to the very end of this makeup look. I hope you guys loved it. Feel free to leave any comments and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!